Jamar Chase, uh, the Bengals wide receiver, probably arguably one of the best wide receivers um, in the NFL. Um, he came out and said shortly after Joe Burrow's uh, injury, the calf injury, he doesn't think Burrow should play week one against the Browns. He was asked about it uh, yesterday, the day before. Double down on that comment. Listen to Jamar Chase. They were wondering, did Jamar really mean that, that he doesn't want him to play week one? Yeah. Uh, do you have any thoughts? I 100% mean that. And is that, is that anything to do with where Joe is now, or you just want him to play it safe? I want him to be 100% healthy to play. I don't want him rushing nothing. I don't want people in his ear telling him to play at a certain time. I just want him to be healthy. And that's not me telling him to play that certain game. It's just, that's me saying be healthy when you're back, 100% healthy. And you're talking about the regular season. You're not just talking about preseason? He shouldn't see the field during preseason. So. Would this team be okay? Do you think if, if he did miss time in the regular season? Nobody wants him out. He's talking about, I mean, we'd be okay as long as he's there for the end of the season. You know what I'm saying? We worried about the, the bigger picture, not the small picture here. That's what we're trying to win. So, you know what I'm saying? As long as he comes in around the season that we need him, then we're going to be okay. Your comment was just don't rush back. Don't come exactly. back too soon. Yeah, you know, y'all always blow stuff out of proportion. Yeah. That's why I gave y'all the answer. <laughs> Are you speaking from experience a little bit too? Because you could have come back, what, that Tennessee game last year where you wanted to do the one extra Exactly. Week. I gave myself an extra game to heal. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't rush nothing. I made sure I was ready to be back. Even though I felt good the, the week before, I just told him I didn't want to play. You know what I'm saying? Just to give myself and my body the, the rush that it needs. You know what I'm saying? You got to be an athlete and be on top of stuff like that. Quincy, when you hear it, I get what he's saying. Um, but Quarterbacks tend to just want to be out there. Yeah, but I mean, you have to give the context of who's talking, right? And this is Jamar Chase talking. And what I mean by that is, look at Jamar Chase's career. Even if we don't even look at what he did last year, which people seem to be focusing on, look at what he did in college, right? He took a year off in college, basically, and then went straight to the NFL draft to preserve his body to make sure that he was in tip-top shape. For the NFL and it worked out spectacularly for him so I can see why somebody who's had his experience would be like hey do not rush your body back do not become a shell of yourself also during this time he saw the whole Baker Mayfield implosion which some people blamed on a labrum right don't rush your body back don't hurt yourself in the long run just to appease some people right now and don't fold or or don't pressure him into playing early. And I think that's smart, right? Um, if this were Deshaun Watson, if this were Nick Chubb, if this were Miles Garrett, we'd be saying the same exact stuff. We don't want him to rush back for week one. If he's not ready, let's get him out there when he's ready. You know what I mean? I think this is pretty standard advice. I just think since he's Jamar Chase and since people are so – on pins and needles down there about if Joe Burrow's going to play week one, how serious this injury is, and the ambiguity of this injury that people are freaking out about those comments. But I think he's saying what a lot of us would say if this were a situation for our quarterback or our best player on our team. You know, if this were Pat Mahomes, I'm pretty sure somebody would be like, hey, Pat, don't worry about being back week one. Just make sure you're back healthy 100% so we can have you out there instead of trying to be out there at 70% and then re-injure yourself. Also, you got to look at like Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant came back early to play in the NBA Finals, ended up snapping his Achilles on what was originally reported as a calf strain. There's a lot of uh, stuff out there that says, hey, if your calf is bugging you and it's been bugging you because he had the sleeve on when he even heard it, then – you should probably wait until you're 100% back so you don't risk a serious injury because right now, calf strain, missing five weeks, there's nothing to Joe Burrow snaps an Achilles or something because he came back too early and has to miss a calendar year before he can start practicing.